Hello everybody and welcome to a new Roblox video. Um, I decided to uh, make um, videos uh, about teaching how to script stuff. So uh, I wanted to do it in small videos, little parts, and explaining um, bit by bit how to script um, in uh, Lua programming for Roblox. So, um, so you have a big library of um, scripting tutorials and not one big, um, uh, one big video telling how to script the whole uh, thing. So um, yeah, today I will be uh, going through uh, one thing which is uh, changing uh, Bricks properties uh, automatically with uh, a script and some other basics. So um, yeah. Okay, so I have my place right here and I want to open a new part. Open. No, I want to insert a part. Uh, anchor. Uh, like that. And we make it no green like this. And lock. Okay, so we have our working space right there, and I want to insert a, another part. Okay, so here is our part that we want to script about. Um, yeah, so let's anchor this and make it smooth. Okay, so. Um, it is looking like a mesh, a block mesh, but that is because I put uh, bevels or bevels, I don't know how to pronounce that, off. That is right here. Um, let me think here. This off because it reduces lag a lot. So uh, I recommend doing that as well. And um, scripting, all, uh, I mean, scripting, uh, building and uh, lag uh, goes away and it's really easy to build. Uh, much better places because you don't have these annoying uh, edges on the uh, on every brick. So and it uh, doesn't take very much uh, CPU, so you can do other things. Uh, things uh, also, uh, yeah. So let's get get to the point. What am I talking about? So uh, go to Insert Object Script. So um, what you need to do, uh, what, what you need to uh, know is that the script is now a child of this part. So let's give let's give this part a name and call it uh, brick, because I want it to be unique. So um, script is child, that means brick is parent. But this brick is also a child of workspace. So your workspace is the very uh, parent, well not actually the very parent, but, but a big parent of all the other s things in your place. So uh, open the script and you'll see print hello world. Well this is actually a test for your output, I will tell um, later uh, what the output is. But why do I have two places open? Oh no that's not, never mind, okay, stupid. So um, if you want to uh, add notes in your uh, script, you just do two dashes and you type what you want to uh, note. So you see it's uh, green, that means the script will ignore what it says. It doesn't look at it. It will ignore. So uh, it won't affect anything. So what you basically can do with this is um, do something like this or something or um, this line means blah 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 so yeah but for now we'll do made by me so like that okay so I want to have a goal what do I want to make with this brick well of uh, my first thing I want to make with this brick is make it flashing uh, so how are we going to do that? So if you want to uh, make this brick uh, flashing manual, you will have to change uh, transparency. So right now it's zero, that means it's uh, it's visible. So if you change it to one, it's invisible. That means we uh, have to change transparency to make it flash. Um, yeah, so uh, that's 
manual now go to back to the script and um, think about uh, what you want to make flashing that means it needs to repeat itself so if you want to have something repeat itself so a script that repeats uh, every single line over and over again you need to use while through do that's basically this no capital characters and um, it will turn blue if you did it like me so uh, right here I have a uh, uh, a little um, a dash minus symbol that means we need to end this uh, uh, line so at the very end of our script we need to end because uh, it says uh, this little thing here so um, on the next line put a tab to uh, you don't have to put a tab but I uh, recommend that so you have a good overview of your script so um, yeah so there are two um, yeah uh, let's start with um, I'm just going to start type and tell what I'm doing so uh, I want to um, tell the script that it needs to change brick but I can't do uh, change the uh, transparent transparency of brick no because the script won't know where is brick and what is the transparency and what do I have to change it in so we have to do uh, it in Lua programming language which is um, uh, you need to, to link to the brick that's here so uh, we do a game that's the game we are playing in workspace which is the very parent of your game and then we go to brick well be sure you use a capital B if you did that if you did that in a name as well so uh, yeah so uh, when you're in the brick we want to change the transparency I hope I typed that good space equals space and then we put zero because we first we want it to be uh, visible now press enter tap and do the exact same thing no one sec I did one thing wrong you want to uh, I forgot something you want to p add a weight um, weight and then uh, this symbol here I, I don't know what the name is uh, but I don't uh, actually care it's just this symbol you can you guys can see it no space between the T and this symbol and then the amount in seconds and then uh, close the symbol so um, what the, what this now is is um, game dot workspace dot break transparency transparency so change the transparency in zero which is visible and then wait one second and now it doesn't know what to do so we finish our script transparency space equals one wait one second okay then we're almost done let's end this end the script so now it knows oh there's the end now I can repeat so let's uh, just read it so change the transparency of brick into zero which is visible wait one second make it invisible wait one second and go back to line six make it visible wait one second make it invisible wait one second and go back to here so this is basically uh, the script we uh, just made and uh, to test it out uh, you want to go to view output to know uh, if the scripts are running well and properly and um, start run your game so uh, now you see our uh, brick is actually flashing so uh, we know uh, the uh, script is working running script work dot brick workspace dot brick dot script so we know uh, from the output um, uh, that uh, it uh, the script uh, doesn't have any errors or problems uh, so uh, we can close this up and you know that uh, this brick uh, works okay but with the method I used right now um, we have a little problem because when I copy and paste this now it will not work anymore because I have two bricks called brick and if I do script and I open script it does not know um, 
it does not know uh, which of these two I need to use so it will just choose, choose a random one out, uh, one out of them so uh, this uh, actually won't work if you want to have multiple uh, multiple flashing bricks or you need to change the name as well which is brick 2 right now and change brick 2 in here and you can do this okay because of lag they don't go equally but they do work so uh, I'm removing brick 2 and going back to uh, script and I want to show an other uh, way to do this I'm just going to the remove the whole stuff okay while through do why is this here okay we'll see that later okay so uh, to um, link it to the uh, parent of the script we just say go to your parent so script dot parent so you have the script right here and the parent of the script which is brick because you know a uh, child parent so the parent of the script and the transpar transparency what the, the transparency of the parent of the script which is brick is one this is actually easier and a better way to use script no wait one script dot parent parent dot transparency is zero I actually need to do this wait one end well now this will uh, let's try it out view output start and it works so go back and let's see if we copy and paste it uh, six times see uh, if it does work as well well they might not go equally oh they do so that's pretty cool um, so uh, this uh, is actually uh, pretty uh, much working better than the other way I uh, used so uh, yeah so go back and I remove this okay so um, this is how you change transparency but what if you want to use a uh, brick color you want to change the color of the brick you need to use something else well the uh, this is actually uh, working but uh, you need to go do brick color B and C are capital characters is not red or blue or white no we need to do brick color dot new uh, this symbol oh I don't know the name I don't know the name uh, of this as well quotes I guess yeah quotes um, and then put in the color and then this and close it wait one second script dot parent dot brick color is brick color dot new um, yeah what can we change uh, navy I almost read something else there <laughs> brown like this wait one and so this is our uh, new script and um, this will actually change the color of uh, this so let's uh, put in the output white brown white brown so now I see it works okay so now I want to uh, do a um, example of what happens if you do uh, a um, uh, uh, a uh, typing if you type something else then then you need to like you want to uh, do brick color but you do brick taller just an example of a mistake run 
goes white but then it says workspace.brick.script uh, line 7 attempt to index global brick toler a nil value nil means not um, um, yeah how do you how do I tell um, nil 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 not existing I guess yeah so I close this and um, go back line 7 brick toler brick color so that's how you do it so um, there's also another way but I haven't tried that out be before so I'm just going to, tr to do that um, brick no Audi is script dot parent dot brick no script dot parent yeah I guess okay so we have our tab right here and now we can do Audi no not Audi Audi dot uh, um, let's do something else right now uh, we did the brick color material I don't know how I know let's do just brick color because we are familiar with that brick color is brick color dot new white okay so I haven't tried this out before Audi brick color is brick color dot new brown oh Okay then. Well, don't I? I have no idea if this will work, but I'm just going to try. Yes, it did work. So this is also how you can do it. So if you if you want to link to a, a lot of times to script.parent, you can also use Audi is script.parent, and then the script will know. Hey, I see Audi, and Audi is explained right uh, explained right here. So I can use script.parent. So this is basically uh, part one of my uh, uh, scripting tutorials. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial about scripting and I hope you uh, will um, learn how to script uh, by using my tutorials. Um, I thank you guys all for watching. If you have any requests or questions or uh, anything uh, else you want to tell me, contact me via Twitter, uh, YouTube private message or commenting on this video or other videos uh, but I only reply on Twitter and YouTube private messages or on Roblox but that's obvious so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and that's the second time I tell and thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video